Good Monday morning. I am 37 weeks pregnant. Have three more weeks left to go. Uh oh, I'm super pumped. We had a very packed and busy weekend, which was so nice. Now I'm excited to just, just relax for the rest of this pregnancy. I am going to be going shopping this morning. Again, you guys know how much I love shopping. And if you don't know how much I love shopping, let me just tell you, shopping is the worst activity that I get to do as a mom. I am going to put a little bit of a focus on Thanksgiving shopping. Since Thanksgiving is next week right now, then I want to gather everything. I want to gather all the food. Um, not necessarily like the produce, like fruits and vegetables stuff, but just everything so that I can just relax during Thanksgiving week next week. So I'm gonna be putting a little bit of an extra focus on Thanksgiving and just getting that done. But yeah, slow and easy Monday today for us. Okay, it's October 14th. <laughs> October. Right. November 14th. <laughs> We're in November, dear. November 14th. <laughs> um, Still Monday. 7.30. Monday, November 14th, 7.30. It is 28 7 degrees outside, right? 28 degrees. And what are we doing? We're walking. We're gonna have this baby. That's what we do, we walk yeah. every single night. Even in these bizarro temperatures, it's ridiculous. And honestly, you just, I just have to not care like what I look like <laughs> because it's freezing. Got my hat on, my big puffy coat, some gloves and pajama pants. <laughs> Keep me nice and warm. <laughs> Walk this baby out. It won't work tonight, but over time, it's a process. It's a process. You've been it definitely. For what, two weeks now? Two weeks straight, every single day. So, it's been great. Usually I come out by myself, or I make my brothers come with me. He doesn't usually come with me. <laughs> it does not feel bad. Is it worth it? Is my waddle that bad? No. No. <laughs> Going on my 45 minute walk every night was one of the most difficult things I've done this pregnancy. <sighs> Not only was I walking up and down hills, I was often contracting while doing it. Every once in a while it hits. <sighs> Contraction goes while I'm walking. Not only is walking a great way to jumpstart labor, but it also gets the baby in a really good position for delivery. Yeah. So you're at a four. At a four. 60% contractions last a minute long. Yeah. Yeah. And we're not having this baby? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Even though it was painful, one of the reasons I loved going on a walk every night is because it gave my mind a break from the pregnancy. It was a chance to spend some quality time with the people I care about, like my husband, my mom, and my brothers. When I watch birth vlogs, and I see moms, and they're going, <sighs> like that, right? Yeah. You go like that a couple times? Yeah. And they're like, oh, these contractions are so hard. And they're like, they're 30 seconds long, and I'm like, then they go to the hospital, and the hospital's like, you're at a two, and I'm like, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> That's not a real contraction. But the whole mind over matter thing, I honestly think that's part of why my labors go by so fast. Because I know what a real contraction that's going to do something yeah. feels like. Yeah. So if during labor I don't feel that, mm -hmm. then like I tell my body to do it harder. Walking is definitely one of the reasons I think I have short labors, so I highly recommend doing it. Okay, good job. I know, I did it. Did it. Yeah. Just finished my weekly NST. Everything is looking good. Baby took a little bit longer this time to pass the NST, um, but it did. Fluid is 
back up a little bit on the higher end. It's Wednesday, by the way. Weekly NSTs are on Wednesdays. And then I've got my doctor's appointment. Then I've got my doctor's appointment or my prenatal with my doctor um, tomorrow. Hopefully I've progressed at least a little bit just because I've had enough Braxton Hicks or contractions or whatever you want to call them to be able to have progressed. Last night I was literally up all night long with them just constantly happening. And so, I mean, I feel a little better today, but I'm hoping they get something because otherwise that was so not worth it. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Here, hold still. Yeah. Hold still. Whoa, did you like it? <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, I'm coming just a minute. One of the things I needed to get done this week was the boys' Ready? haircuts. I didn't want to have to deal with it during the upcoming holiday, especially with a new baby. Like so I decided to get a handle on it now and avoid the stress later. Went into my appointment, 38 week appointment. While she was checking that I was having a contraction, mm -hmm. and so she checked, and she asked, she's like, "You have been, you've been having contractions?" And so I was like, "Yeah." And she goes, "Yeah." <laughs> she goes, "You're at four. And I was like, "Yeah, I was probably a three or four last time." And she's like, "Okay, so you're at a four. And she said that the water, the bag, is bulging. Mm -hmm. And then she did the sweep, and then after the sweep. Then I was at a five. But she was like, I I don't know why you're not in labor. <laughs> mm. And I was like, well, can you just break my water while you're up there anyway? <laughs> she just laughs. She's like, wouldn't that be nice? She was like, you, it's ready. It's ready to go. It's it's there. It's ready to go. So? She looks at it and she's like, so what day do we have the induction scheduled for? Because I have to have the induction scheduled mm. because of the uh, single umbilical artery, right? So I told her it wasn't scheduled until Monday, November 28th, after Thanksgiving. So she looks at the calendar and she's like, <laughs> she just looks at me and goes, and she goes, I think you'll have it today or tomorrow. What do I think what it is? What do you think it is? Yes. Yeah. If I had to make a call, I yeah. would say girl. Really? Mm -hmm. My final call would be boy. Okay, we're on different sides. This will be fun. <laughs> Once my OBGYN administered the sweep, I could tell things were progressing quickly. I decided to just spend the evening with my kids and enjoy what might possibly be the last night with just the six of them. Do you like to take a bath with mom or dad? Dad. <laughs> Do you like taking a bath with mom or dad? Mom! Oh. Mom! <laughs> mm. After I bathed the little boys, I sat down and watched the girls practice their gymnastics, which then just turned into the whole family playing around and having fun. Even though parenting can be difficult, especially while pregnant, it's the moments like these that make life amazing and that make me want to add another one to our little team. Yeah. Have you been having contractions? Yeah. Constantly? I did it! How long ago? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna help you. Yeah. Like yeah, anywhere this. from a minute to a minute and a half. Roman. Uh, Roman. Roman. Who's? Which one is yours? Hattie. Where's Hattie's? Roman. Roman's. Where's Hudson's? Hattie. Hattie's? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now say E. 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 Now say E. I. 
After helping the kids with their nighttime routine, we sent them off to bed with a kiss and a smile on their face. After that, we weren't really sure how the night was going to go. <laughs>